Hey people, so today we are going to discuss lead code problem, find closest number to zero. So in this problem, we are given an array of numbers uh, and we have to return the number that is closest to the zero. So if we have multiple numbers that are closest to zero, then we have to return the number that is maximum value. So let me take an example and explain it to you. So in this example, we have nums to be minus 4, minus 2, 1, 4 and 8, right? So of these numbers, this 1 is the one that is closest to 0, right? The difference is 1 minus 0, that is 1, right? So that's why we are returning this value 1, not the difference, okay? This is one thing that we have to remember and that's about the problem. These kind of problems are not really complicated guys, right? It's just like iterating through the array that we are given and you have to make some small updates uh, like, you know, uh, depending upon the question and then we'll directly get our answer. But the main thing here is to note down all the possible cases that we are going to deal with, okay? So let me tell you what all cases that are possible in this question. So one is like if I'm iterating through the entire array and let's say our nums of i is the current value like i being like starting from 0 to uh, length of nums and nums of i being the current value and let's say I'm at every stage I'm storing closest so far value that we have seen till now, right? So then there are three possibilities, right? One is our nums of i can be less than the closest so far value that we have seen, right? And nums of i value can be greater than closest so far that we have seen. And nums of i value can be equals to closest so far that we have seen. So a quick example would be, uh, let's say we have an array like 4 comma 2. Then if we first see 4 and our closest so far value will become 4, then the nums of i value, if i increase my i, nums of i value will be 2, right? So the distance from 2 to 0 is 2 and the distance closest so far that we have seen is 4, right? So this is one possible case. And the other case example is 2 comma 4, right? Just the reverse of it. The other case, the third case is it's minus 2 comma 2 or minus 2 comma minus 2 or 2 comma minus 2 so these are the cases so let me show you how i handle these so as i've just mentioned i'm taking my closest so far value and initiating it with uh, infinity and i'm also taking another variable called res which means result and initiating it to zero so this value is what i'm going to return okay closest so far value will have the distance from zero okay so if we take a case like minus 2 comma minus 2 the closest so far value in this case would be 2 but the value that we are going to return for this example is going to be minus 2 right it's not plus 2 even though the closest so far value is 2 so that's the whole idea and after initiating these variables i'm just looping through the entire array and for every number in nums i'm calculating the current difference that is nothing but absolute value of zero whether regardless of it's minus two or plus two or any other number right i'm updating my current difference and if i'm seeing that my current difference is less than the closest so far value as i've just mentioned there are three cases right so if it's the first case then i'm updating my result to be number okay so let's say it's four comma two or minus 4 comma 2 in both these cases the closest so far value until here is 4 right but when I see this value 2 I have to update my result with this value 2 and the closest so far value with the current difference that is 2 minus 0 that is 2 right so and after that there is the second case that we told that we can ignore right and the third case is this, okay, when our current difference is equals to closest so far, then we are updating our result with maximum value of either the previous result or the current number. So let me give you some examples for this. So let's say there are this 
2 comma 2 minus 2 comma minus 2 so if i have already seen this value initially the closest so far value here would be 2 right so when i get to the new value that is my index i increases and my current num will be pointing to minus 2 then our current difference is also 2 right and the closest so far is also 2 I should return minus 2 right I should not return closest so far value right for that reason I am maxing up with the previous result value and the current number that I have seen right so that's the idea behind this statement and once I am coming out of this loop I am just returning the result value so this is the entire code and the time and space complexities would be order of n and order of 1 respectively since the time complexity for the order of n is coming from this loop and the space complexity of order of 1 is because we are just including this constant spaces right so that's why it is order of 1 so that's pretty much about this video guys if you really like my content please like comment and subscribe this to this channel that will really keep me motivated to make more videos thank you so much